Hey, what's up? Uh, B Operation Android here, and DSoid has been updated yet again, and this is update 1.9.12, and it features added frame skip and the ability to disable sound, which are two awesome new features that I am extremely happy that have been added to DSoid. So let's go ahead and open the Google Play Store, and we're going to go into our apps so that we can update DSoid. So right here I have DSoid. I'm going to go ahead and click on it so that I can update it. And as you can see here it says what's new added frame skip and the ability to disable sound as I said earlier. So I'm going to go ahead and update DSoid. And I'm really excited about this update because adding frame skip and the ability to disable sound puts it closer to par with DSDroid and NDS for Droid which both have a slew of settings and prior to this update DSoid didn't have any settings that you can actually really toggle yourself so DSoid is done updating so I'm gonna go ahead and go into my DSoid application here and I'm going to go into downloads because that's where I have my Pokemon Diamond NDS file which I use in these DSoid update videos to demonstrate if the application has been updated with speed and compatibility stuff or if it's just been updated with these settings alright so initially looking at this it doesn't look like it has any speed updates but I'm gonna go ahead and load my save state alright so now to access the two new features the frame skip and disabling sound you just need to go into the settings where you actually click to save or load a save state as it was before and you can now see that there's a new tab here indicating settings so let's go ahead and click that and now we'll say frame skip or disable sound so to disable sound all you have to do is check the box right there and I recommend disabling sound if you're looking to get the best performance out of DSoid being as when you run sound you're most likely gonna see a 3 to 5 frame skip drop also now that we have frame skip here you can set it to whatever you'd like um, though I recommend keep it in the range of 4, 5 and 6 because this will give you optimal performance and in my opinion I like it best in that area anyways now with this added frame skip and the ability to disable sound we will be able to see a speed increase so I will be starting a speed test now comparing this update to the last Alright, so on the left I have DSoid 1.9.12 and on the right 1.9.10. Anyways, I actually messed up as I was doing this speed test. I forgot to turn off the sound on 0.12, so you'll see that they are both at about the same speed. And this is completely my fault. You can still get the new update 0.12 to be faster than 0.10 by disabling sound and putting the frames at the right speed, which would be at about 4, 5, or 6. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. Anyways, I feel like it's a little unfair that I keep showing you these DSoid updates on my Nexus S, which isn't a really up-to-date device. So here I have a Nexus 7, which I'm playing an NTS emulator, so you guys can check out the same game, Pokemon Diamond, running much faster on a Nexus 7. Also, if you enjoyed this video and the one on your screen, make sure to click that green subscribe button. Thanks for clicking that green subscribe button. Welcome to the operation.